I'll kind of show you guys like what we do. So, you know, on this board I have a bunch of stuff going on, right? And like I said, there's frames here. So let's go ahead and look at one of my project frames right here, right? So this is, you know, like for example, these are just some some uh, you know sketches that I pulled that I did for Third Eye Gen. Um, you can see how, you know, like let's just say we wanted to do like a concept review. I can basically take those images from my files and literally cut and paste them into this or drag and drop into this into this frame, and they'll basically appear, right? And then and then essentially, if we wanted to, we wanted to like you know get a little bit more technical, let's just say we were doing a design review and we're like, hey, like that, you know, this button's not going to work or, you know, let's not use that. Let's actually put, you know, a microphone vent here. Let's hide that. You know, you can start to just do this live almost as if this was like a live critique, right? So uh, for all you, you know, design studios or people working in design studios, I think I really highly suggest this as a collaborative tool and then even for educators, uh, design educators in particular, you might want to consider this as well because I think just being able to have the overall impact, the wall so to speak, gives you a better sense of you know the overall context of, of the concepts being produced as well as just you know overall breadth of being able to see you know how your team is, is coming up with the ideas and like how you'll be able to kind of mix and match, which, you know, if you're just cut and pasting on Slack, for instance, or, or Skype or Zoom or whatever your, your, your platform is before, um, I think this, this really kind of allows you to, to uh, replicate that, that in-person collaboration. Right? So let's take a look over here. You know, you can see, like, I can basically separate my projects, right? And how I do that is, again, frames. So if I want to look at this one, earbud ideation, I can look at that. If I want to look at this one, I can look there. If we want to talk about, you know, Hatch Duo's business thesis and, you know, all this strategy stuff, we can basically go here as well. So, you know, this is a really cool tool. My team and I use it, you know, sometimes we have team meetings of like six or more and you see all of our little cursors around here, um, you know, drawing and, and having a lot of fun together. So, highly recommend you guys try it. And here, let's let's just set up a, a, a frame right now. Let's just try try to figure out how to do this. So, let's just say let's create a frame. So here's this frame. Let's call this demo. So let's just assume we put some concepts in it right now. Okay. So drag and drop. It's as simple as that. It is an online uh, platform, so it does some some of the images if they're high res do take a while to load. But hey, like yeah, you this is almost like you know you're printing out your concepts, you're putting it on the wall. So let's just say, I mean. For all case and purposes for this demo, let's just assume these are all separate concepts. We're all in a critique. We're talking, talking through together. We're going to vote, and you know, I'm sure you guys have been in design critique where you use sticky notes to vote. So let's just say, you know, we we give everyone you know their choice, and so maybe one person chooses that one. You know, and we have different colors for for everyone. So you can start to see, you know, a spread and maybe, you know, let's just say we type why we like it. Like, like the stray, like the uh, chord detail. Gradient CMF is cool, etc. right? I mean, so you can see how um, this is really advantageous to do kind of like, to replicate as close as you can to in person. But also if you have distributed teams like we do, we have actually interns from uh, Korea right now and you know they're a completely different time zone than us and so being able to kind of like put this all digitally they can actually see and track what our activity is and kind of almost even though even if they're not able to necessarily uh, participate in the critique that day they're able to kind of review like how we uh, critiqued that session 
uh, the next day. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you know, obviously this is very baseline and just to give you an overview of how Hatch Duo likes to use this tool as a collaboration tool, you know, click some of our links down below in the description to learn a little bit more. And you know, if you have any questions, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more tips to come. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Bye.